on est tout le quoi. What's good YouTube, A Walker here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. I know it's been a while since I've made a tutorial, but yo, this shit's actually crazy, bro. Like, I think I actually just uncovered the craziest FL Studio sauce ever, bro. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna be using an unreleased sound pack of mine. It's called the Perk Pack. It's gonna be available in the description down below. Um, but basically, the Perk Pack is just all the perk sounds from all of my drum kits in one folder. Um, but within the Perk Pack, there's this secret folder uh, I'm going to be getting into it in this video, uh, how to use how to use these sounds and how to use like these stock FL Studio um, functions to make them sound crazy. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, now that we're here in FL20, um, I'm going to briefly explain to you guys what this function is, like how I found it and why it can make your beats sound so much better. Um, so basically what I call it is ping ponging. I'm just going to refer to it as ping ponging from now on. Um, I got that name because when you open up your sounds in the step sequencer, you can see here just above the waveform, it says ping pong loop. So this is the function that we're going to be going through today. Um, and as you can see, I just clicked it, but it still kind of looks like grayed out, like it's not activated. So basically what I'm here to do today is show you how to activate it and then utilize it in one of the beats. And yo, when you see this shit in action, bro, you're going to be using this function for every single one of your beats for the rest of your life, guaranteed. Um, so here I have a bunch of preloaded sounds from the perk pack, the perk pack here on the left side of the screen. It has about 220 some odd um, percussion sounds and I'm going to be showing you how to activate the ping ponging effect. Uh, and within the perk pack, I'm going to be making a folder with all these sounds you see here in the step sequencer uh, already pre looped and, and, and activated and ready to go for your beat making. So without further ado, let's get right into showing you how this effect works. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your step sequencer here and find a sound that you wanna ping pong. Um, second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click the waveform on the bottom here. I know for a fact that for some reason OBS doesn't pick up the, the Windows um, like text menu when I right click it, so just bear with me here. Um, so right click the wave uh, form and it'll say edit and audio editor. And basically what that'll do is it'll open up Edison and it's a very, very simple trick to activate this. What you do is simply just right click again, go to regions and then set loop. And basically you'll see once you set the loop, there will be a left loop and a right loop on either side of the sound. And this is what will activate the ping ponging effect. So what you're going to want to do from here is save the file. So it's actually going to be a separate file than the original one. You're going to want to save it and then drag it back into your uh, digital audio workspace, FL20 in our case. Um, I've already done that. So here it is here. I named it basically the same thing, but looped. And as you can see on the bottom here, it's highlighted in this red film. And as I referred to in the beginning of the video, how the ping pong loop button looked grayed out look at it now it's it's bright and it's ready so you're gonna want to go ahead and press ping pong loop so basically what this does is it plays your sound and then reverses it right away here's an example of what it sounds like so you can make it play forever if you press the use loop points button so if you don't want it to play forever or you don't want it to play for a certain amount of time you can just have it play once and here's what it sounds like once and this is really cool function because you can edit the the time in between the sounds playing with this little button here called length and basically you're just going to want to press this in and out and you can make it kind of go to any any time you you desire so depending on whatever beat you're making whatever tempo it is you can match the ping pong effect to the beat and as I referred to the, the loop points and making it sound like unlimited, you can go into um, the step sequencer, the piano roll, and you can make it kind of go forever like this. And you can make it, you know, longer or longer or longer. And then there's, if you, if you have it all, if you have the length knob all the way up, it, it does this next level effect, which I've never actually like dabbled in. 
Um, but this is actually really cool because you can fool around with this a lot. You can slide it too. Here's an example of sliding your percussion sound. Just go into here, double click that, and then double click, or you click the little like triangle button. So that's just a little cool kind of tip with your percussion sounds. Um, and I wanted to show you guys how I utilize this effect in one of my beats. So I'm going to go ahead here and pull up one of my beats. Okay, so I just pulled up uh, this beat I did with my buddy Mway. Um, and in this beat, I used a snare uh, that's in the pack. And I looped it. This is what it sounds like looped. And it's right here in the step sequencer. So I'm just gonna play it and you can kind of listen to the effect in, in action. So as you can tell, it's just really saucy. It kind of just, it, it gives your, your beat like an extra little like, you know, kick. And the beauty of this effect is that you can literally do this on any drum sound, like not just percussion sounds, like any drum sound. I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend using it on like an 808 maybe, but that's some like next level, like 808 sliding. Um, for example, I've used it on hi-hats before. I have a looped hi-hat here. I can show you in action. You know, something like that. Like I, I wouldn't actually personally use that in this beat, but I'm just showing you the capability of this um, effect. Like it's 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 insane. Like the possibilities are endless. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my original file, my FLP with all the perk sounds, and I'm just gonna show you kind of like what they all sound like looped, just so you can get a sense of it. And by the way, all the sounds that I use in this video are linked in the description. Uh, and I'm going to be, you know, giving you guys this pack and it's going to be a lot cheaper than most of my other packs just because it's just perks. It's not like an actual drum kit. It's just little perk sounds. So let's go ahead and go back to that other FLP. All right. So I just finished putting the ping pong effect on all of these sounds. As you can see here in the step sequencer, all of these sounds have like an underscore two after them. That's just because they're the same sounds, but I just simply added the ping pong effect, the loop effect onto them so now you can enable the ping pong loop effect um, so i'm actually just going to play these sounds for you guys just so you can you know get a sense of what they sound like and then i'll play them with the ping pong loop on so here's what they all sound like So that's what the sounds sound like without the ping pong. And what I'm gonna do here is kind of just, you know, put a little one of these, enable ping pong, and then you can hear what it sounds like. So you can basically just turn a sound that's really like just short and simple into something that's much bigger and better and, and it just adds to your, your sauce for your beats. Um, and anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, once again, all the sounds in this video are linked in the description down below. Um, and I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials from now on just because I, I have a new setup now. Uh, and yeah, thank you again. Peace out.